Alright, um, I figured I'd do one more quick video of the ball machine. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, just take it apart and start working on something else. Um, basically just hit a few blocks with it. Mostly, uh, I just don't have a lot to work with because like the balls come out of the, the first, or what was going to be the first um, selector, and then there's just there's the return ramp. So I mean, I don't have a lot of space to work with. Um, but I'll just go over a couple of the things that I uh, kind of learned from this experiment. It wasn't really a, so much a failure, it's just uh, I'll start working on something else. But um, let's see. Uh, in the conveyor, I've got um, these wheels on the back, and there's a little spring in there. So it kind of allows it to have a little slack and uh, keeps tension on it and then it, it's pretty much straight up and down all the way down the conveyor belt and uh, that seems to work out fairly well um, one thing I did here with the pumps um, a problem I've had with using these which were used on the uh, the pistons for the, the engines that they would make um, is they're offset by half of a bushing so um, the problem is is they like to back out um, if they're under tension and uh, there's vibration and stuff so how I solved that was you'll notice there's a, a three beam there and a three beam all the way over here on the other side and I've just got a uh, half pin in there and then the axle is actually about halfway through there so then with these on the edges it keeps the axles from backing out um, so I haven't had to mess with this pump assembly since I've made it I've, in the past I've had, a, I've had them kind of fail after a while to, mostly with the axles kind of backing out and stuff but um, besides that that's about it um, I've done a lot of experimenting with this. Um, I've done things I've never done before, especially with the pneumatic system. It's um, used some kind of creative solutions to to do certain things. So, um, I guess that's it. Um, well, one of the things that was I've never done before is the way it's actually just the construction method. Like a the whole top assembly is just beams. Um, up top and then it's got the axles for the actual support and then uh, beams all the way along the bottom and uh, I've never really done that because I always use studded building I just have a big base plate and a bunch of the old um, beams with the studs on them but um, this actually worked really well it's pretty sturdy um, and you can pick up the whole thing and move it if you need to and, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of turning into a fan of the the studless construction method but uh, that doesn't mean I, I won't use studded in my builds but um, primarily I'll probably be using studless and that's what the most pieces I have I guess is studless um, alright so some of your ideas and make your own videos Peace.